so th th that's really true about is what is going on. I mean, a lot of people don't know about that. They want people in ignorance. That way, they don't know. But uh, it's in a lot of books. You can look it up in books. It's in a lot of books. It's in a lot of books. You can see that. That uh, you know, um, they were trying to destroy America in different sides. Now this and, and the next issue really, or to understand, is that people may not, people may not uh, know about that or think that that's real, because a lot of these destructions are stealth, stealth destructions, doing it secretly in some way, or doing it under the appearance of something else. So an outside threat, right? The migrant mob is an outside threat. You know, they're 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 refugees from Central America heading north in this in this migrant caravan. You know, these threats are and destruction systems that they try is not necessarily obvious as to what it is. It could be masked under something else. You know, the Illuminati card deck. They have a card deck, and they could say, you know, nuclear destruction you know economic collapse another one you know social strife different of these things which are sometimes they use people against each other for evil purposes all this kind of stuff so it, it, it's it's hard to understand at times it's a mind game so but again you know the administration or not administration but trump or the executive guys you know, telling people the executive branch telling people you know about some of these things some people may not know that that's going on also people are working all the time they don't have time to study that so they may not know that's going on so to some extent you can educate people as to what going is what's going on um, as to what that was is was whatever um, but people may not believe that that stuff is going on. So it's, you know, it's bullshit. It's conspiracy theory. But also, if there's so much on the internet coming out, so a lot of people would will believe it, and, be, and and a lot of people will be like, "That's right. It's exactly will believe it. They will believe it. That all of these, uh, all of these, uh, you know, they tried to destroy America from all different methods, you know, and, and they still want to, and it, it it's the goal of them. They still want to." It's to remove the freedoms of the from the people because today you have everything you have your cell phone in the cell phone you could see everything you could look at anything you want call anybody do anything whatever you want it's the whole world is available through your cell phone there you can watch anything talk to anyone freedom of speech you could look at anything you could look at at, at, at Edward Snowden and and and, and what anything so if they they try to remove the freedoms from America they, through terrorism, oh, you know, there's there's a terror attack or there's this or there's that, to scare the people, that way you say, oh, we can't do that anymore because you know there could be a terrorist attack or you know you're not allowed to look at that. That's classified. That's uh, you know the Air Force has gone stealth and quiet. Nobody can talk about the Air Force anymore. You know, like. That's not the spirit of America. That's not what America is. America is a sense of freedom. America is, is a country where nobody can tell you what to do. You can have all kind of freedoms. Um, but the, the point is to an extent, you know, the deep state is, is, is trying to, trying to, you know, they kind of want to, you know, they, they kind of get paid to to some extent close in on uh, on some of these freedoms because there's so many people it's just there's a lot more people than there were in 1776 there's a lot more people than there were in 1812 or 1850 there's a lot more people than there were in 1915 or, or 1923 if you look at these different time periods, there's always things going on. It is very interesting. It's not just like a linear time thing. There are things going on during these time periods. 1776, what was happening? That's when America had to fight a war on its own soil, shooting the British. And, and there, was, there was a civil war, a, a war on its own soil against the British to get the British out and form our own country. That was 1776. They formed the United States of America as this United States and they needed strength at that point they wanted to Virginia West Virginia North Carolina they united these states in in, in a strength 
to get strength against Britain, against England, to get free of England. The United States of America, these are these, these state areas, United States of America. So making a country that could be strong against Britain and then establishing freedoms here that we are not England, we are not Britain. Uh, we don't need, we're, we're, we can do whatever we want over here. And that was 1776. You look at 1812, there was another war in 1812, another, it's in history, all this stuff is out on the internet, you can see it. In 1812, there was. 1812, there was another war, another uh, freedom war uh, against Brit Britain. Britain came back and was. Just look at the history. Some of this is suppressed history, but it's historical record. You could see the historical record. You see the historical record of, of the wars and everything. Um, so 1812 was a. 1812 was. Another war with with England. And this is the 18th War of 1812. It's the same kind of thing. England was trying to taxation and control. It's 1812. They came back again. There was a war in Europe, and there was a war in North America. Because there's trade going on between these ships, these these tall ships, and a lot of trade going on at that point between these tall ships and 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 boxes and packages and a lot of trade and and commerce and stuff. So for some, we we read suppressed history. We have to really research how come the British were back in America in 1812. Well, the logical and obvious reason is that a lot of the settlers who were coming, who were settlers in America are these white guys these are these these British guys and and, and Britain and Ireland is Ireland is very close I, these are two islands Ireland and Ireland Britain it's very close so they came over from that direction with the ships so there was a continual influx of more people coming over from 1770s 1780s 1790s 1810 1812 coming over there and, and building bigger harbors and building so these are British guys so there was some influence of British government and British commerce and and these in some of these security guys or whatever on the ships making sure that no pirates and nobody steals their their merchandise which is very valuable and uh, doing the commerce there so there's that's where these British guys are coming from and they apparently continued to taxate and, and, and had, to, had, had to fight another war in 1812. America had to fight another war in 1812 to kick out the British again, who were in North America, had recolonized and become stronger in North America again. And today, what do we see? The same thing is happening. The international bankers have formed again in 1913 and later had formed Federal Reserve System, which is under the British, you know, and, and British uh, Rothschild Bank of England Federal Reserve System to where they control again the finance and the commerce through the admiralty of the British, uh, you know, of the seas and law of the seas and commerce and kind of the, the British commerce uh, around the world. And they, they put into the the school system, the ball earth is the British Empire wants that ball earth is so everybody do commerce on the ocean, do commerce and go overseas and everything. So a part of this is this British influence. So there's different time periods in history. 1812, 1915, what was going on in 1915? We were in the middle of a big war again in 1915. One year early in 1914 was a, started a gigantic world war, a horrible world war with, with people sent on ships and boats and machine guns and and rifles and everything. World War One, horrible. 1915 and 1921. This was in the middle of the Roaring Twenties, so the World War One was over in 1918, 1919. Then the war was over, and then the economy took off again in the 1920s rebuilding reconstruction the economy is going to take off again if there's reconstruction there's people who study this and, and they know that you know reconstruction means rebuilding after a war everything has to be rebuilt everything was destroyed so now it has to be rebuilt this is part of these evil scandals so uh, reconstruction is in the 1920s the, the economic boom of the 1920s the roaring 20s what do we see after the Roaring Twenties? Almost right away after the, it's just horrible this stuff. Right away after the 1920s, in we see 1929 stock market crash, and the 1930s the economic recession. 
right after the Roaring Twenties. Economic recession, times get harder. The poverty people are most affected in Oklahoma, the Okies, the, the poverty people are most affected but some of the shareholders and stuff were affected the stock market so it's this stuff is built on fakery so in general most people don't need to worry about any of this stuff it's built on fakeries okay if you invested in this Ponzi scheme stock market then they can easily you know bottom out this pond this this stock market in 1929 and then it leads to a economic crash and everybody going crazy it's kind of like a feeding frenzy everybody's you know, happy you can trading up trading up doing well doing well and then because the, the downside of humans the downside of humans is that they want things to do they need things to do to be excited about and stuff so now it becomes like a feeding frenzy of sharks like what is going on what is going on you know and the, the stock markets are going up oh they're going up it's like these people just looking at each other instead of doing uh, they're separate, they work separately. So these social movements, these are social movements. Um, and uh, if you don't participate with these social movements, you're not affected by it. So in general, people should not participate with these, these, any of this bullshit, these social movements and any of this crap, because it gets worse if you participate with it. Because now you're feeding into this, uh, feeding into this uh, psychological uh, crap of whatever, some kind of social movement like black lives matter which is actually not intended to to make black lives matter black lives matter is a scam they're, they're not saying that that to look at martin luther king and the history of the blacks in america and how they won their freedom and how they're incredible people no they're trying to say that black lives matter go out and start you know start drumming up some some energy on this and then the white guys suck and the black guys are good so kind of create it for an antagonistic approach to, to, to anger people so a lot of these are scams but in general the America thing they were trying to destroy America and so that's the big deal that they saved America and keep everything going so just you don't even in the White House you don't even need accomplishments you just keep things going it's just, it's just about keeping things going keeping people happy and, and that there's no issue that's great keep the morale and the positivity going is extremely important that's the most important thing 